Good morning, campers. Hey, everybody, how you doing? A uh, bit of a different video today, very quick one. Um, this is me pitching the Terra Hogan, uh, it's a Valdo Terra Hogan 2P, in the absolutely pouring down rain. Went out a couple of weeks ago um, and it lashed it down, as you'll see. Uh, I'm wearing a new jacket and uh, I was bone dry, so I just took my time. I pitched it really nice and slowly. Um, I am doing a review of it, and this is from that video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up 10 times for that video. But I thought I'd put out a video of me just pitching the tent. So that's what this is. Um, I'll let it run through. Um, you'll hear a bit of rain. You'll hear a bit of uh, Dave Outdoors talking, who uh, I met up there. I'll put a link to Dave's channel. You know, I'm pretty certain if you're watching this video, you've already seen all of Dave's. Um, but yeah, I met up with Dave and had a great, great night. Uh, and his mate John, which was fantastic. And uh, John showed some amazing um, photos. He does a bit of astrophotography, oh, which is mind-blowing, to be fair. <laughs> so have a look at the video. Um, as I say, there's nothing. I won't talk or anything in it. You'll just see me pitching the tent in the pouring down rain. And... Well, that's about the size of it. I do do it really slowly, and you'll quite often see me standing there just looking at the tent. Um, because I knew I was doing it for a review, I wanted to show if I could pretty much get every single crease out of it. Um, it was also the first time I was using the ground sheet for it, so that was a little bit different as well. Um, I will say that the Valde Terre Hogan 2P, um, I bought it from Cotswold in Exeter. And I was served by a fantastic guy called Ollie, um, who pitched it for me, showed me how to do everything, and it was absolutely incredible. Um, I've had this tent now a couple of years. Um, it is brilliant, absolutely bulletproof. So this is the short review, absolutely bulletproof. Um, I'll put a link to another video where I was out last, either the last day of last year or the first day of this year, sub-zero temperatures, freezing fog, um, 40 mile an hour winds, and the tent basically just stood up like a soup trooper. So it's an absolutely brilliant tent. As you know, I have a collection of tents, and this is by far the warmest tent I've got. The inside, which you won't get to see in this video, because of the shape of the tent, although it's a very generous one-man tent, um, the internal surface area, because of the shape of it, is quite small. Um, albeit being quite big, which is a bit strange. You need to see the inside, it's a bit like TARDIS. Um, but it's got a solid inner with just a vent at the door. And consequently, when the skirts go all the way to the floor, as you'll see in the pitch, um, when it's really, really cold, the tent does stay quite warm. So, don't get me wrong, it's a tent, so it's going to be cold, but it's a lot warmer than any of the other tents I've got. So, in the cold weather, this is my first choice. Um, I can actually pitch this tent in about six minutes. Uh, I think this video I take about 12 or 13 minutes. So anyway, enjoy the video guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you're not a subscriber and you find this interesting, please think about subscribing. Um, other than that, enjoy the video and I hope you find it useful. Look out for the full review coming in the next week or so. Cheers! Yeah, if you flip it over, it should tell you in the top left somewhere how much it takes. Or it'll be somewhere it'll tell you in there how much it takes. What I normally do is just fill it till the fucking water just brims the dry food. And then do a good stir and it'll soak in there. Yeah. You'll like that, I reckon. Hey, yeah. Do you like dry rice? A fried rice. See the orange things on the side? They're yeah. fucked basically, they'd be clear. 
and then as the water boils, all that orange will get to the top like it is now, but it's fucked for some reason, and I don't know why, but you just have to keep an eye on it, mate. But yeah, it does kick some eco. <laughs> I like that in here in a minute. Fuck the carbon monoxide. Yeah. Fuck the log burn. Yeah, there's an oxygen absorber, mate. There is yanking out. Just keep flipping it round, mate. Yeah, like that. You can see it. Normally, we're down the fucking bottom. Obviously, they're really nice. They are. You said you'd had one of them before, didn't you? Yes, really nice. Yeah. Next walk, we'll keep that out for after. She's done, mate. She's a quick, isn't it? Don't take long, is it? No. Just tip her in. Yeah, man. Just tip her in. The top of the line. I normally go just above the food and a little bit more. Give it a bloody good stir and then let it settle for eight minutes. Anyway, tonight's toy for tea, as you've just seen, is the spicy pork noodles. You might remember the last time I had that when I was with a Shropshire lad and we were doing the hot of wine trail in that blistering heat. John's going to be tucking into his chicken fried rice as well, that from Summit to Eat, and they're another good one as well. Had that before, really nice. The David boy's setting up in the, the pea wet rain, <laughs> and I'm in the tent, <laughs> making that what you wish. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you a I'll give you a quick one down inside what gear I'm using tonight, so it's it's the normal for now. Um but yeah, it was a very good show. I wasn't gonna bring the tarp and then John Mick suggested it this morning. Uh, and yeah, good idea bringing the four by four tarp and living in dry and blue. Baby, come. 
Thank <laughs> you. 